friends so today what we are going to do is we are going to draw um, a space shuttle okay blasting off into the space so let's see the supplies that we need we need markers we need crayons we need a pencil uh, I also have my eraser here and then I have half a paper I have half a paper from last week so I don't have to cut a paper if you don't have half a paper go ahead um, get um, an adult to cut a paper in half for you okay I also have the whiteboard to practice draw everything so excuse me today, <coughs> excuse me. today what we are going to do is we are going to uh, show something um, on 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 our paper we are going to show um, something moving okay so um, sometimes um, in earlier projects we have done that but uh, today what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to um, realize what you're doing um, like realize how we do uh, how we show movement um, on a or movement on a paper movement okay so on a two-dimensional um, paper paper is two-dimensional it's not 3d right let's create a sense of excitement or um what should we say um uh, movement okay so there are different ways you can create movement um you can create um but um let's not go over all the ways um because we are just going to practice one way of uh, showing movement okay so um, the movement uh, what the artist says it is uh, how an artist show movement using elements and principles of art so uh, you can have i'm just reading the definition of movement okay there are different ways of showing movement and um, one of the uh, all the ways use different principles of art like line shape or things like that okay oh uh, here today what we are going to do is we are going to use um energetic mark uh, or we are going to use a change of direction lines cho showing like showing change of direction to show movement or like let's first get in the lesson and you will understand more okay so if i just show you so the only thing is uh, what we are trying to do is we are going to use lines and some um energetic markings okay just keep that to in mind lines in different direction and or and we'll be using another thing that is like showing energetic mark when you see these uh, marks on the paper you will see a lot of energy that's what i mean okay energetic marking so these are the two ways we are going to show movement in our today's project okay so first thing that we need to do is we are going to take our paper we have the paper here right so the fir <coughs> first thing that we'll do is let me find a picture of uh, space shuttle so that i can look at it and draw okay i got a picture so first thing that we're going to do is we are going to fold the paper in half like that we're placing the paper in the portrait style and then i'm going to fold the paper in half so this is going to be our guidelines okay so this will help us put uh, the this is going to be our guidelines so on this whiteboard i'm going to draw a guideline i can't fold this so right in the middle of my whiteboard i'm going to draw a line 
can you see the light line with the blue <laughs> thing okay so we have the uh, guideline and again i put my uh, whiteboard in the portrait style okay so then near the top of the paper the top of the paper is here or the top of the whiteboard um we are going to make a dot okay dot on the the line that we made okay here it would be over here okay so if you are doing on a paper that's why i should so on the fold if it is on the paper it will be it will be on the fold here we don't have a fold it, we have we drew a line instead so that is where the dot should be okay um on the bottom i'm going to put my hand like this and then i'm going to put a dot here hmm? now i'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a, a C from here to here. Can you see the C? Connect the dot to the one side to the other. Or, yeah, maybe instead of that, let me try. this way yeah from here i'm going to uh from through the dot i'm going to draw a small um uh, horizontal line it should be the size of um uh, if it is on the paper it should be three finger long okay here it is maybe i'll make it a little bit small okay yeah it's still three finger long okay now what i'm going to do is from here from this point to here i'm going to make a curvy line like a c okay. it's not a c but a curvy line okay now i'm going to do the same thing from here to this line i'm going to make a another line similar to this one got that okay now um what i'm going to do is um on the bottom of the shuttle on this side and this side i'm going to extend this line a little bit on either side like that and then i'm going to make a it's like a almost a u shape can you see a u or yeah like that it's like the u has uh, it's like the U is here like this but it fell to the side <laughs> like that okay now let's so we have the wings okay now on the bottom over here I'm going to draw a rectangle okay what is that rectangle going to be that is going to be um, the rocket okay it's like this so this line is already there so i'm just going to make this into a rectangle maybe right through the middle i'll make another small rectangle like that now <clears throat> i'm going to draw on either side two rocket booster engines okay so how do we do that let's look Look, oh, uh, hmm. Okay, so I'm going to uh, do a little bit of change here. I'm going to make this the main rocket booster because there won't be space. Okay, so um, we are going to over here i'm going to leave like a three finger space from top I'm going to draw another line and then i'm going to uh, 
extend this little bit inwards this wings inwards a little bit okay and then what I'm going to do is this from here I'm going to draw a curvy line from here curvy line so this will be the rocket and this will be the uh, the main rocket booster okay so that is done um, then the next let's put two rocket boosters on either side so for that I'm going to make so, uh, so this what I'll do is maybe I'll draw with this and then I'm going to it should be almost the same size as this one so I'm going to put a dot here and then I'm going to connect it like that It should not go on top of the rocket it's the booster right like that a curvy line and then another curvy line okay this line in between I can erase off and then I'm going to continue my rocket on the bottom with two lines like that connect it maybe Two lines coming like this and then connect it okay now on this side the same thing I'm going to repeat the same thing over here almost in line with this I'm going to put a dot one curvy line one curvy line and then continuing over here over here like that and then like that and like this so we have the um, the rocket boosters, uh, booster engines on both the sides of the, this, this is the space shuttle and we have the rocket boosters on this side. Now, um, after you are done with this, we can go ahead, uh, add more details to your rocket, uh, um, space shuttle and the rocket boosters. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first add a window okay over here i'm going to maybe add a line like that come down let me add lines here okay okay Then for this rocket booster, should we add more details to it? Um, I'm just going to add some lines like that. That's all, okay? So, uh, the drawing the rocket ship or the space shuttle is done. And then we'll be adding, now it looks like a stationary space shuttle, right? We want to make it, uh, we want to show movement. So, I said movement, we are going to use um, either the lines, okay? Uh, lines to show movement or we can also show what was the other way an energetic energetic mark also can be used right so what I'm going to do is let me find a picture okay I'm going to draw some energetic line that is like the fire can you see that? So one straight line here and a dot here, and then I'm making sp spiky lines coming all the way down. Okay, so these, or you can draw, um, other way you can do this is instead of lines like that, you can 
make draw lines like that and then you can add like clouds of um what is it called smoke okay that is another way that can be done um but i think i prefer the first way and then you can also show movement on either side like like that so this is how we are going to show movement we used two different uh, techniques to show that okay after that we will be coloring it so guys are you ready now to draw on the paper i think we are ready right so the first thing we'll uh, uh, we just changed a lot while we are drawing uh, but we'll follow the same thing because otherwise you guys will be confused right so on the bottom of the paper i'm going to leave like five finger put my hand like that and then put a line like this here on the top i'm going to put a dot got that now i'm going to the next step what we did was we made a line like three fingers right so it should cover three fingers on either the middle finger should be on the line okay and then from here to here i'm going to make a curvy line i'm doing this with pencil because remember we had to um, erase some part on this side i'm doing the same thing i connected this and this now here i'm going to so this will be a uh, uh, the booster the main booster rocket and now i'm going to maybe extend this on either side and then remember we made the u and then from here i'm going to extend this line remember extend this line inwards you can even erase this line now we extend it equally inwards and then from here i'm going to maybe you can put a little bit taller here i'm going to make a curvy line coming from this point to here and another curvy line okay so that is the space shuttle now we need to draw two booster uh, rockets so here on this side almost in line with this the space shuttle i'm going to or a little bit lower i'm going to put a dot i'm going to go like that like this continue with this we'll pretend that this line comes like that and then reach here this one reaches here oh here we didn't draw the that we'll draw later and then here i'm going to put another dot another booster Here I'm going to make a rectangle and then this. <coughs> now I'm going to erase this off, this line and this line. Okay, so the basic shape of the uh, space shuttle with the rocket um, is done. So now what we'll do is we'll just outline everything okay so let me look at the picture again hmm. i'm looking at the picture from wow america by robert new new becker so 
<laughs> and then drawing the illustration okay let me okay now let's turn this i'll take the black marker from the marker box and then we are going to outline all these lines Okay. Made it a little bit straighter, like a There is actually uh, something here also. Mm, that's okay. You don't have to go into so much detail. If you know, uh, want to add more details to this, you are welcome to do. Okay. I'm not a rocket person. I. This is all that I know about rockets. So mm, now let's add uh, other details. Maybe a window. So to the middle portion, I'm going to draw a line coming down like that. Maybe here. And then same thing for the rockets, these rockets. Uh, these lines are a little curvy so that it make it look more rounded, okay? Then here. Here, this tip, I'm going to make it black. Same thing with these tips, you can either make it black or blue. Blue is what I see there. Maybe you can even um, add more lines here. I'm going to add curvy lines like that. So on the wings, um, you can put whichever country your rocket, the space shuttle is from. So if you can put a flag here and the name of the country on this side if you want, okay? So, but I'm not going for that. I'm just uh, leaving that detail out. Then maybe I'll... So the next thing, uh, what I'm going to do is, remember the, uh, the lines that we made. So before we start doing all the other lines, I'm going to erase up all the pencil lines. Make this look nice. Okay, that looks better, right? And now let me look at a picture of... Uh... So I'm going to add that energetic shape to show. So remember, you start with a line like that on both either side and then like a all the way to here and maybe a dot there and then it's like this okay um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my markers let's add some maybe i'm going to take gray okay I'm going to make curvy lines like that to show smoke. OK, 
Okay. Then next, what colors are we going to use? Maybe I'll use orange or red. You can either use orange or red to use, make these lines. Um, in here inside I'm going to color oh this was red I thought it was orange <laughs> it's okay it will be like fire can be red also I'm going to color this one It would have looked better if it was orange, okay? If you guys didn't start, you can use orange, okay? Now, I'm going to switch this to orange. Orange, where are you? Maybe right in the middle, I can use some yellow. Let me take orange and yellow, uh, the colors that I'm going to use right now. Okay, now um, it's up to you. Uh, maybe if you, if you want, you can start coloring the space shuttle or you can um, color the background first. It doesn't matter. I'm going to color my space shuttle. Um, again, space shuttle, you can use any color you want. Okay, I'm going to use most of my, uh, the space shuttle is going to be white. Okay, I'm going to make these lines a little bit more thicker. Is this marker running out too? I don't know why my markers run out too fast. Maybe because I keep on making lessons for so many of so many classes at the same time, right? Okay. I just want these lines to be a little bit more thick. Okay. The window let's make me oh it can be black this can be black under that there was a square thing and then below that there was something yellow in color maybe those were the windows I'm going to just put yellow here instead because we are just I'm just drawing this right and um I take blue so along these lines what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with blue. Okay. Space shuttle this part also I'm going to make blue. You can use whatever color you want for that. It's your spaceship after all, right? You could draw a flag or put a name here, maybe your own name. Okay. Then this one here, I'm going to put blue. Here also this booster rocket is also blue top. Now I'm going to take, oh, red is here. This one's lines I'm going to make with red. Okay. And this one's line I'm going to make with purple maybe. I don't know. 
You guys use whatever color you want, okay? And this line too is going to be blue. Now, let me take orange also and go and make some similar movement lines. Okay, so the rest of this we are going to color with the crayon. So I'm going to put the uh, markers away. Take the crayon. You don't have to make it as boring as I'm making. I'm just looking at the picture and like using the same colors, okay? You can be as creative as you want because these are like bigger areas. That's the reason I'm using um, crayons. It's cold and the crayons are like not as easy to use with maybe it became too cold <laughs> maybe i need to warm it up by coloring not by putting in the microwave or anything okay then it will melt maybe i should have i should have done this like that warm oh my so this is this rocket ship this part is done now let me color the uh, rest of the background. Rest of the background, what I'm going to do is I'm going to color with um, just yellow. So all these colors and then gray. Okay, so we don't have gray. Do you have a gray crayon? If you have a gray crayon, you can use it. Do I have a gray crayon? The 16 crayon box doesn't have gray, but I can use black. Okay, what I'm going to use is use yellow and then color this. So imagine if you just drew the spaceship without these um, moment lines or these energetic lines or shapes that you made here. What do you think would have happened? It would have, it would have looked like the a spaceship is waiting for the launch right it's not moving so when we added all these lines that's when it started looking like it is moving so that's the lesson for today we can make something look like it is moving by adding lines and some special energetic shapes <laughs> Again, you could uh, color the um, these also a different color, but the one that um, the picture that I'm looking, as I said, it is um, from a, an artist who wrote, illustrated a book called Wow America. So just because I'm imitating that artist, I left it white. Why are you being, Mr. Crayon, please be nice. We are trying to finish up this project. I think Yellow was angry. Yellow is a little bit angry because we used him last. Yellow, you are my favorite color. I'm just joking, kids. I'm just telling yellow that so that yellow doesn't feel bad that I used it last. All the colors are good colors. Maybe I could have, could have colored this part also a different color. Maybe when I'm using gray, I'll put the gray there. Okay. 
try to color as nicely as you can okay i first wanted to use watercolor and crayons for this project then i realized the uh, lines would look uh, brighter if i use markers and then if you colored with crayons rather than using watercolor and crayons that's why and of course it is a very cold day i don't want to touch water <laughs> So I thought I will do a rocket ship because I know so many of my friends, right? So many of you like drawing, like reading about space shuttles and rockets and um, things like that, right? So I thought this would be an interesting lesson for you guys. But I'm not a rocket person, as I said before. So Maybe I called some of the part something that is not the real uh, name for that part. <laughs> or it doesn't look like a real one. Sorry about that. I tried my best, guys. Okay. This is a time that I wish you guys were here with me in person so that uh, you could tell me. Uh, or help me with the parts and stuff because I always get help when there are things that I don't know about like especially when I'm doing uh, drawing uh, vehicles or spaceships or things like that oh this is also a vehicle right so um, that part is done now let's take so try to color as nicely as you can i know you guys can color well because you guys are awesome at coloring where is my black so if you have only black what you can do is you can color lightly and then that will look like it is great Maybe these two, I will color these two um, light gray to separate it from the spaceship. Uh, yeah. Lighty. that we are done with this a uh, moment lesson okay moving spaceship <laughs> i hope you guys had fun doing this lesson with me till we meet next time oh do send this finished work email me in the email address that you see at the end of the video okay i would like to see how your spaceship space shuttle looks off okay so till then Bye-bye.